Okay guys, welcome back. So let's quickly update all these quantum names that pretty much having some sort of a relief balance or short covering, which I call. So let's go through all of them once again. So we're going to start with, okay, so today we have QBTS, D-Wave Quantum, uh, trading 8.5%. And we were talking about this one a couple days ago, I think I was talking about these stocks essentially... Uh, pulling back towards their 50 day moving average and potentially maybe finding a little bit of a support over there uh, and Yeah, we did get a little bit of a support But even during the day if you take a look at it like last seven eight trading sessions Even though they're closing like yesterday. We had a positive close despite the stock pretty much opening higher and closing lower for today. I mean um, It was positive, but you can see sold off today we opened a little bit higher, pushed up, coming back down. But even if it goes a couple days to the upside, I mean, I don't think that now you guys have much of a momentum to the upside because momentum is gone, especially after the all this option activity, right? Going into the OPEX of um, October where uh, we had gamma squeeze people pretty much going in with options crazy and now next week we have a fed rate decision probably we're going to get a fed rate cut um, i mean the rate cut and if these stocks go i mean it doesn't matter if they're going to have a little bit of a more relief rally which i call short covering um that would present a bit of a good um uh shorting opportunity I don't think QBTS is going back to highs, even though it is probable, it is possible, but very low probability that this is going to go right back into this. Even if it spends this whole OPEX to OPEX, essentially October OPEX, if it spends in a big range, I would not be surprised. And let's go take a look at the, um, I mean, the only time you can see I'm going to be get, um, trading maybe some bearish puts on uh, QBTS. So when it cracks 50 day moving average, the yellow line on my chart. So when it cracks, I'll be watching it to the downside, maybe potentially to trade it some, uh, some puts. But so far, yeah, if it goes higher, um, it's even better. But again, you got to be super careful uh, with um, short dated puts, especially because uh, these stocks will not make it easy. Like uh, it happened here where it was pretty much melting down, but it was not easy. RGTI doing pretty much same price action. So today it's 2%, but if you take a look at it, um, it's a bit far from its 50 day moving average on the other hand. So yellow line on my chart, you can see 28, 29. This is the 50 day moving average. And you can see as well, I mean, it did pull back but it didn't pull back all the way to 50 day. It just found support at the breakout level of a 34 that we talked about last time. So this was the breakout area. It essentially came down all the way to this level and pretty much bounced off those um, areas. So if it's gonna fail again, ultra short term, these are my indicators. Five day, 20 day SMA. These are, these are very important for the momentum. Because when momentum is to the upside, you can see how five day acts as a support. One day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six, seven days in a row, it has acted as a support when it was in an uptrend. When stock turns into downtrend or sideways move, these are the two pivotal uh, moving averages that I, that I keep an eye on. So Rigetti, same thing. Uh, if it pretty much uh, goes lower, but in a choppy way, you're going to end up losing money if you have a short dated puts that are outside of the money uh, thinking that okay so if it's going to come crashing down i will take in, uh, advantage of the implied volatility but implied volatility is still high okay stock can't go down but it can go down on a lower volume and smaller range range is getting smaller by the way uh, look at these ranges right there these ranges were very high which elevated the uh, implied volatility, IV. 
And now these ranges right here in the last three, four days getting tighter. So if this stock, I mean, this stock has a $5 average true range right now. So if it moves less each day, I just want to show you guys a very quick example of how a lot of people lose money when it comes to option market. They just uh, don't pay attention to the average true range. So let's just measure this, right? So if you take a look at the um, yesterday's price action from 42 all the way to um, 37.68, this is the low, this is the high, it moved $4.31. Uh, and so on, right? Like today, it's high 43, coming down towards 40, um, 40 bucks. I don't know how low it's gonna go, but you get my point. The less, the less it moves, so far $3 move, each day, IV will keep crushing uh, and your options will keep losing value, okay? So Rigetti, same thing every pop here i think to me is a sell uh it still has a lot of room and there's a rumor right the iv could be holding up because there's some white house uh might make a decision uh i i mean we have a shutdown i don't know who's going to make a decision to invest in a quantum uh give them money essentially to these quantum computing comp uh, companies but i will be sell biased as long as uh this stock pretty much stays in this range bound and pretty much um goes below or stays below 20 day moving average and five day moving averages okay so another stock we have qubit which i traded i took my profit uh, i went short somewhere around here when i saw a lot of people come in and pretty much they were playing december puts i did ride it up until here like two three dollars i believe and I got out with 50% profit, uh, small profit again, but still, uh, I think this stock is the weakest among all these quantum names. There's also Ion Q, but Qubit, if it loses 14, you gotta be careful. This is the uh, area, support area. This is why I covered it somewhere around there, um, sold my position over there because I thought it could bounce over there. So if it loses that area, it can go bleeding down all the way to six bucks but again it doesn't have to happen overnight it can happen very slow look at the chart how it trades same situation with ion q uh after breaking out of these levels i was watching 51 uh, 24 it did bounce off of these levels it did come we talked about this one uh, it didn't come all the way that way 52 and then we had a little bit of a bounce stock staying above 50 day this yellow line on my chart represents 50 day simple moving average so far uh, but you can see 20 day curling down five day pretty much down trending yes it is trading above its five day it can definitely try to push go sideways but all of these they're going to report earnings by the way i don't know what they're going to report <laughs> but they have all coming up uh, in the next uh, two weeks earnings reports so IV can stay elevated. Um, they're not gonna say anything surprising, okay? In my opinion, uh, these have gone already so much that any positive news at, at this point is priced into these uh, stocks, valuations at this point. IonQ trading at 21 billion valuation. So up until um, November, all of them are gonna report earnings, I believe. Um, yeah, you better off not touching premiums. Premiums are baked in. I mean, the IV is just jacked up. I think these are expensive uh, and I would be super careful if you are a naked buyer just like me because I purely just go long and short. I don't do like anything crazy. Sometimes I do debit spreads, but I don't do credit spreads or anything other than that. So if you are a naked buyer, you got to be super careful trying to trade these stocks because they can chop you up and pretty much chew you out and you will uh, you will be bleeding every day trying to be directional with these stocks because there's a lot of people pretty much online saying that, yeah, these are fraud. They are going to come crashing down. They don't have to. They can just come down, but they can come down in a very choppy way and it will, it will pretty much uh, do the damage to the most... Um, 
traders before before uh, eventually going lower so again um, I don't have a position at the moment in any of these stocks I'm not trading them the only time I can go in and out when one of my uh, levels get triggered let's say in Ion Q's case if it cracks this 51 sure I can trade it towards its 200 day moving average somewhere in low 40s until then I'm not bothering this name and any other quantum name because I know they have high high premium baked into the pretty much option chain so yeah I'm, I'm just um, watching from sidelines and I think these can roll over but they can roll over in a very choppy manner so this was yeah, sort of a clean uh, fade but again uh, I would stick to shares if you are like short seller and that that way I think it, it can be managed much better than trying to be a naked buyer but again not a buy or sell recommendation this is purely for educational and entertainment purposes only thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next update take care peace